Well, this is not a penis out of the panties. Oh, I mean penis out of the... I can't remember what my phrase is. Anyway, anyway, I have got some great news for you. And I'm excited. I never thought I would live to see this day. And you young people that look at me between 25 and 55, uh, it's an amazing, amazing day for the Mormon Church. I remember in 1978 when the uh, penis out of the pants. That's it. See, bipolar people, our mind keeps working <laughs> whether we're talking or not. Or maybe it's never working. <laughs> Things just come out. I remember when the blacks got the priesthood. I was... Uh, uh, in Provo at that time and I remember hundreds if not thousands of names in the newspaper of Mormons protesting that they were going to leave the church because the Negro now can hold the priesthood and be in full fellowship. Well, you're living in a day, my young friends, that I thought I would never see. Do you remember the um, video I did on David Tweed who was uh, producing the um, Mormon Thought uh, program and blog. Well, the church, as you remember in details, set him up for an excommunication court on September 30th, which is coming right up. Well, I have never, never, never seen the Mormon church succumb to any pressure other than money in the IRS allowing the black people full fellowship. As soon as I got that information that they were going to try and excommunicate Tweed, uh, I read his stuff. All truth. All truth. History, policies, procedures, all truth. Quotes from all the prophets. Now how can you excommunicate a guy that quotes everything? It just happens that he quoted things the Mormon Church doesn't want him to quote. Well, anyway, one of the uh, places I go for my news, uh, uh, Recovery Mormonism, uh, Steve Benson, the great-grandson of Ezra Pat Benson, who is a cartoonist uh, right now with the um, Arizona Republic newspaper and a Pulitzer Prize winner, immediately notified um, Recovery for Mormonism. Well, they get a million hits a day. I thought I was good at 1500. A million hits a day. And there are some people on there, like me, who have access a little bit to the public. And they asked and solicited for our help to put pressure on the Mormon Church to say, knock off the crap. He can criticize Mitt Romney. He can write truthful, hurtful, but they're your truth and your history in a blog. And you can't excommunicate him. Oh, 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 the Mormons are going crazy. We can excommunicate anybody. Evidently, you can't. So Steve came on, told the rest of us what was going on, and I, within 20 minutes, published on my uh, program here to 158 countries what they were doing uh, to David Tweed and I don't know if that had any um, um, bearing on the news. The Mormon Church has canceled. Do you hear me, Mormons? The Mormon Church officials have canceled the excommunication of David Tweed. Now, is it because he lives in Orlando and Romney needs Florida? Is it justice? Is it convenience? <laughs> but between recovery and several uh, other truthful Mormon sites, we put tremendous pressure into the media to pick it up. CNN picked it up. Uh, oh my God. Uh, I think the Washington Post, the New York Times picked it up. And it went throughout the world that the Mormons are fools and idiots for trying to cover up lies and deception. Well, I never thought I'd live to see it. Oh, I'm getting pains. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm alright. Well, my heart's alright. <laughs> up here, it's still screwed up. 
the Mormon Church canceled an excommunication due to public backlash and pressure. They don't own Utah anymore. They don't own uh, the church anymore. They're the corporation of the Church of Jesus Christ. They're not the Church of Jesus Christ anymore. I thought I would never, never see it. It's just in. It's only a few hours old. But the church has canceled his excommunication. Now, can they bring it up again? You bet your ass they can. Will they bring it up again? Probably, from what I know of the Mormon church. They are so two-faced and dog uh, certain that they're right. After the election and Romney loses, they got to punish somebody. So, David, keep your pants on. I don't want you on my videos. The Mormon Church has caved in. Many of us hoped that it imploded. It just caved in this time. <laughs> Congratulations, David, if you watch my videos at all. I'm sure you don't. You're not in Africa, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, Israel. <laughs> it, oh, you know, I got a couple in Afghanistan, too. So, uh, congratulations to the uh, ex-Mormons who are telling the truth and putting tremendous pressure on the Mormon Church to grow up and act like a religion rather than the Gestapo. Thanks.